Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody back to Seeking Happy. Today we are going to be doing another Pocahontas episode of opening these trading cards that have been sealed since 1996. Um, I do have a little bit of background information in the previous videos on this, so if you'd like to catch up, you can check those out there. Um, I do have the cards that we have collected thus far, which I have counted up and we have 50 out of 90, so today we're going to see what we get. And also, side note, the saga continues on this fingernail of mine last time you guys saw me. It was, I don't know, it had something, it was like messed up, it had something on it. So, I scraped it off but did not redo my nails, so <laughs> you're going to see this bad boy throughout the video. Okay, that being said, all of that important stuff out of the way. Let's go ahead and grab a new pack of cards to open. So this one, just like all the others, is going to have eight cards and one pop-out card per pack. I'm going to try to move quicker, but I know I talk slow, guys. I know I talk a lot, so feel free if you need to fast forward to a higher speed on your um, Netflix. Not Netflix. That'd be cool on your YouTube settings and speed this up because I just can't. Okay, so right here we have this really gorgeous scene here, um, Pocahontas and John Smith. Now, let me think because I feel like I know where this is from. Okay, so I knew this is one of the important parts of the movie or one of the really tender moments in the movie, but I couldn't remember which one, so I cheated and looked at the back. And this is indeed the last scene of the movie where Pocahontas is actually saying goodbye to John Smith. Um, he's been wounded and he is being taken back to London. And we are ending the movie. And on the back, we've got a little farewell message. So really pretty. This is again one of those moments where they just have beautiful facial expressions and I am a huge fan of the artwork. Okay, next is going to be another new card. This is Flit, um, Pocahontas' little companion. And we see he's in this really beautiful... I guess it could be a he or a she. I don't know. I guess either of them. I guess I don't know. <laughs> but they are in this uh, really pretty mystical looking background so when I look close I don't know if you can see in the camera probably but when I look in person I can see that it's like a forest scene although up close it is it gets more difficult to make out so anyways really gorgeous and as far as getting a card with just her hummingbird on it this is a pretty good shot of that and it is their character card so it does have their name on the back and a little bit of information Okay, we have another Grandmother Willow card, so we have gotten a few of these, and I believe we've gotten this one specifically, where she looks like she's singing, and she is angry on the back. Okay, and I don't know if this is the exact copy, but I feel like it is. We have gotten um, this injury card, where one of Pocahontas' tribe has been shot with the uh, bullet and has to be taken back. Coco has to carry him back. Um, to try to get healed. So that's kind of like the first action of violence between the two. And there he is trying to get some healing from his people on the back. Okay, so we've, for our pop-up card, we have Wiggins. Popular guy, this is our third Wiggins, so I'm going to set that aside. And our next card is going to be Thomas. Although we do have one of him already, it is not this one. Um, I believe he has kind of like an upset face in the other one. Oh, and we do have where he's drowning. Okay, I thought it was on top, but it's not. <laughs> Anyways, he has a happy face in this one. Not sure exactly what part of the movie, but cute card, and it is his character card, so we've got a little bit of information on the back for him. Okay, we finally got Checklist B, so I have two of Checklist A's that tell you everything that's coming up, and we have Checklist B, which lists, oh, character cards, so I'm calling them the exact right thing, and there's pop-out cards, and there are other kinds of cards. Now, <laughs> my husband is a huge collector, and although I love the journey that we go on here together, he's all about, like, the end result. If you saw us tearing through his crow cards in uh, that video to look for special editions, then 
you know what I mean. He knows what special cards may be in these decks, um, but he didn't tell me because I like to just go through them. So I'm actually not looking at the checklists, but they do exist. Okay, so we do have this card already where, again, Pocahontas is blocking uh, or stopping her father from uh, executing John Smith. And it does have some info on the back. And then it looks like we've got the puzzle piece again. So this is the three card spread of Miko and Flit, Pocahontas, and then John Smith. We actually completed this last time. So we do have this card and on the back is a puzzle. Now I didn't take too long with that one. So we're going to go ahead and open another. And of course the more repeats we get, um, the easier it'll go through be to go through these faster. But sometimes I just really want to say certain things okay so this one is actually a repeat as well this is from the drums of war song and we have checked this one out before and again we've got that three piece set this makes me feel like oh maybe i picked an unlucky one but we've got the three piece set so again we oh that was the wrong one we had miko and flit and then pocahontas goes in the middle and then john smith or maybe it could just be them too <laughs> Or them three. Okay, so we did have that one. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm really happy <laughs> to have gotten this one. It kind of meets all the requirements that I've been searching for in a perfect card. So this is the last, last scene as um, Pocahontas watches John Smith's boat go and she has run up to the cliff to see it off and kind of send. It's really beautiful throughout the movie. She has this you know, physical manifestation, as I've said, an illustration of her, I would say, kind of like her heart power, her intuition, her spirit. And in this scene, she is sending him off with it. Again, we get that beautiful movement in her hair that just signifies to me this intermingling between her physical self and the beautiful spiritual and invisible world that goes on around her and surrounds her and that her character is aware of and she sends him off with a goodbye from because she taught him how to say hello and goodbye in her language um but also he's made aware of her presence just from that energy coming from her out to him so really really beautiful i love it and then really a great um example of what i mean when i say that this movie had some gorgeous facial expressions drawn in it so in this scene even though previously a moment ago when he was leaving on the boat she was crying you know and you know clearly missing him and everything or going to miss him over here she ends the character she ends the movie as her strong character like you know not being in the predictable uh, even though this was an early on movie, but still not falling into the same footsteps as so many other princesses where it ends in, you know, a happily ever after, although I do know that there's a part two of the movie, but instead she ends up alone, but being where she's supposed to be and having just taken in all the experience that life has brought her recently, and I love this facial expression. She seems proud, at peace, and happy, and I just feel like this is her highest self and I love that moment so a no card could have been better I feel like this is gonna be my favorite one from the whole series but it's a beautiful movie so we'll see <laughs> and on the back we have all oh, the goodbye as it reaches John Smith so I love that so much beautiful okay sorry my voice is getting ridiculous but I'm excited <laughs> okay so over here we have a really cute little Percy picture um i know we have one of miko snacking on the raspberries so this is kind of a cute little duo series but this one i do remember in the movie so percy is in his little bubble bath inside the kind of camp that the colonists got going on and he has this huge bowl of cherries and then Miko comes and steals them on all, including the one that he put in his mouth. <laughs> oh, really cute, funny scene. And it is his character card, so it's got his info on the back. And I see his little scruffy hair from when John Smith kind of... What's that thing, you know? Well, he, he just pet him, but kind of aggressively, you know, like he's a pal. And then for our pop-up card, we have the Chief. Chief Pollock. Ton. see I can't I can't I don't know how to say it but anyways 
it's in there. <laughs> um, so this is the chief. It's the 3D card. So it is double sided and it kind of cuts out. It's already um, like die cut there so that you can punch it out and make it a 3D figure. Okay, and then on this one, it looks like the beginning of a musical scene. So this is where mm, Radcliffe, and I, I, General Radcliffe, something like that, is uh, kind of leading every, leading all the guys to believe that there is an abundance of gold hidden here in this place and that they're going to find it and that they're all going to be rich and everything. So that's the beginning of that song. Or maybe it's during that song, but that's definitely that scene. I hereby claim this land and all the riches. So that's him. That's what he was about. Okay, so we've got an early on scene here. So this is from the very, very beginning of the movie, kind of the introduction to John Smith, um, where we see him working with his men and protecting his men at the very beginning of the movie, thereby establishing his character. And on the back, we've got the heroic rescue of Thomas by John Smith. This is a really beautiful card. So I believe, so they are under um, the willow tree here. So this is one of the times when they have gone to see Grandmother Willow. And I want to say that it's when, no, I don't know when it is specifically. But anyways, you can see the leaves behind them. And again, you kind of pick up on the really sweet chemistry that they have between the two of them here. So I really like that about the card. It says, I feel the earth trembling with fear. So I think this was closer to the end when she's asking him to speak with his father, with her, with her father. Um, but I might be wrong about that. And then we have Pocahontas with her best friend. And this is, no, I see the cornfields here, but then I see the hut. So let's see. I have to do this. So I'm not sure. Let me see. Yeah, okay. So this is when they're in kind of, I believe, when they're getting the uh, corn from the cornfields. And then, uh, what is it? What is her name? Nuka? Nakoma. Nakoma lets Pocahontas know that she knows what she's up to and everything that asks her not to go, but she does go. Um, so that is really awesome. Again, I love their friendship. I love their dynamic and I love both of them as a character. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do it at this moment. <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you because I feel like I always do quite a bit. So we're going to try, we're going to aim for two per video, two packs per video so that we can get a move on with these cards but those were some good ones what did you think okay let me know if you did watch them when or if you did watch this video when was the last time that you saw the movie and which card out of these was your favorite so far okay love you guys bye